For if summer, for, let's try this. I cannot get my, you know, my mouth working today, sorry. If for some reason, that was what I was trying to say, if for some reason that you missed the test, you need to come in tomorrow morning at 6.45, Friday morning at 6.45, or Friday during tutorial. But you have to come in two of those times. One for, that's right, we have uh, assembly. So your choices are tomorrow morning and Friday morning, because you'll have to do both of them. Okay, because I'm not going to be after school. So. Yep, juniors go to advisory today and tomorrow to fill out ACT paperwork. <coughs> I know. But if you didn't do it today and tomorrow, then you would, we would add another hour to the length you have to be here for the ACT, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> so we're just going to do it beforehand. Okay, so has everybody got Windows 365 up? Yep, Office 365. So you sort of see well, like what mine is. Yours are probably a little bit different, but you see what mine is. Okay. I'm going to show you another way that you can access the videos at school. Okay. Um, and I will be putting other things up on this. How many have used Teams before? Okay. It's just another way for me to give you your notes, your other stuff like that, um, but we can put, I can put videos, links up there to my OneDrive for you, and it will take you right to the video, and you can watch it at school, and we don't have to go through YouTube. So that's a good thing, because if you are here and you're trying to make things up or trying to remember what happened, um, you can do that. All right, how many know what the waffle is on Windows 365, what they call the waffle? I'm glad I wasn't the only one that didn't know that. Okay? It's this thing over here. Right there in the blue. Can you see it? Okay. Go ahead and click on it. And it should come up like this. Okay? You want to click on Teams. Okay? So you click on Teams. And Teams comes up. Hopefully takes a minute. Okay, so I have some things up there for you. You won't see things because you haven't joined my team. So let me come back down, and this is me learning too. So I have given you a code right here, 5MS3PCI. That is our team as general chemistry. So you want to join a team. Gotta bring the other one back. Okay, so as you're looking at, I'm trying to bring the other team back. Can you guys see where you're supposed to join a team? You go to teams, okay, join a team, and then you put the code in. So I'm going to tell you the code again one more time out loud because it's not very big. Five. M S three P C I. So you want to join that team so you can have access to the videos. So click on teams, join a team, and the code again, five M S three P C I. Okay, got it? Let's see if I can bring my team over and did everybody able to get in? Anybody still having problems? Okay, once you're in there, okay, so if I click on a, you should see something like this. Well, yours is going to be a little bit different. Welcome to class. Do you see that? So you can send me messages here and do conversations back and forth here. What I wanted to point out is up at the top, there are some little tabs here. Underneath files, um, like there's chapter 7, whoops, and if there was stuff under there I wanted you to do, it would be right there. Okay, class notebook, comes up there, I don't have anything in there. Oh, I do. This is where I put your, this is where I put in your, um, your videos. So, 
Day one from last time is right here, so you can watch it at school. Okay? Um, any assignments there and any other things? Like I think I put the Nearpod so you could go back in and look at the Nearpod. Is, is, is it in one of the tabs? Because that will be one of the tabs at the top. I can't remember. Okay? Um, but this is where you can get things. Now, the thing you need to know is this little arrow right here. It'll bring more stuff up. So I can see who's here. Um, you can actually copy and paste stuff and put it in your own notebook, write stuff all over it if you want to, and you keep it as your own notebook. Yes? Um, 5MS3PCI. Okay, did everybody get in? I wanted to make sure we had that ability. So now you don't have to wait till you get home or use your own network to watch that. Okay? We good? All right, so now we're going to go on to what we're doing today. I just wanted to make sure you, you saw that. I will make sure I get that um, Nearpod and put it in that tab too. So last time, here's your video notes that are on YouTube. I'm still going to do those for you. So if you want to watch them on YouTube at home, you can. But know that this right here through Teams, you can watch it anywhere, even the school. Okay? All right. So today we are going to learn about molarity and how to make solutions. And we're going to be doing daily work 8.2. I know a lot of you didn't get the last one um, turned in. What's nice is today's notes are very short. And then you have time to work on what you have or you haven't got finished and get it in. Okay? So here we go. Um, PowerPoint right here. All right. So... Sometime today, and I'm not going to give you time right now, but you'll have time in a minute, make sure you take quiz 8.2. Molarity is the first thing that we need to learn about. And molarity is moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to be learning something else later that is really, really close to this. So, I have a little ditty that helps me remember it. Uh, and there's another little thing that I'll, I'll show you that helps me remember what this one is. So this one to me looks like a mountain because it's a capital M, right? So it's a capital M. So I think mountains. And there's always usually a lake in the middle, right? Sometimes in the mountains, right? Okay, so I've got a mole and then I've got liters or I've got a lake. That's how I remember it. Okay, so if it's molarity, capital M, I've got a mole and I've got a lake. Or a mountain and a lake. That's how I remember it. The other thing, the little ditty that I go is molarity, molitery, molarity, molitery, molarity, molitery, moles per liter. Okay, whichever one works for you or if you want to make your own up, just know that you've got to learn this one. And there's one that's going to be really close to it. In fact, it's only one letter off. And it's totally different. So you've got to remember, moles per liter. Molarity, molitery, molarity, molitery, molarity, molitery, moles per liter. Okay? Or you can remember it as the mountain because it's a capital M with a little lake, so it's mountain over liters or moles over liters. Okay? Got that down? Know what it is? Notice that it said moles of solute over liters of solution. Okay? All right. So this makes it fairly easy to go and figure stuff out. Come on. All right, so you have to figure out grams. I can't weigh out moles. So we have to take this moles right here, and we have to convert it to grams in order to be able to weigh it out and make it in lab. Okay? Liters, if we're given anything besides milliliters, we need to convert it to liters so we can find the molarity. Um, some of you are familiar with these little triangle things that they used to use in junior high. If that helps you, great. If not, that's okay, too. You can write that down. That's just a help for you to figure out stuff. Because we're not always going to be solving for molarity. Oftentimes, we're going to be solving for moles and then converting to grams so we know how much to weigh out to put in with that volume. Or maybe we have so much grams and we need to make this molarity. We need to know how much water we need to add to it. So we'll be solving for any one of these three things. Okay? This is the only equation we're going to work with today. So let's go on to the next page. Are we okay to go forward? Okay. 
when we make something in lab. So I have to figure out how much I need to weigh out. I weigh it out. Say so I, I have what's called a volumetric flask. We have several different um, volumetric flasks, 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters, 250, 500 uh, liter. Some of them even go bigger than that. They have one line, and it's right here. So what I do, or what you're supposed to do, is you weigh out your um, mass, you put about half the water in that you need, you put your, your solid in, and you really swirl it. Because if you pull it up too high, it doesn't swirl it very well. It doesn't give you that slosh factor that helps things dissolve. So you swirl, swirl until it dissolves. Then you fill it, so this is my swirling. Then you fill it up till that mark, till it right comes to that mark. And at that mark, this is not just 500, it's 500.00 milliliters. So it's significant to two after the decimal. Okay? So that's how we prepare it. Now, going forward, having that in my brain, we want to find some things. So what is the molarity? I'm looking for capital M when, here's my moles, that's of it, sodium chloride, pellets are mixed in a container of, here's my volume. So remember that molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. So I'm plugging in 3.81 moles divided by 1.56 liters. I get my answer. If you haven't got a calculator, go grab one because you're going to need one today. Sorry, I forgot to tell you to add it earlier. Okay, how many significant figures should we have? Three. Jeff, three. So what do we get for an answer? One point what? Nobody wants to volunteer. Okay, Sam? Oh, 2.44. Am I off? 2.44 molarity of NaCl. Do I have a second on that? Okay. That's why you guys weren't volunteering, because I put a one up and you went, I didn't do it right, or she didn't do it right. Okay. So going forward, is, that's not too hard, right? We're okay with that? Okay, we got the answer down that needs it? Yes. Oh, thank you. I... Yes, it's NaOH. See, so you guys got to catch me. Awesome catch. Keep me straight. All right, we ready to move on then? Okay. So next question. What is the molarity? So again, I'm looking for molarity. That is mixed with this many grams. Ooh, I have grams. I have a mass. of calcium chloride in a volume of 550 milliliters. Well, I know molarity is equal to moles divided by liters, and I don't have either one of those, right? So I need to convert it. So whenever I have grams and mass, I've got to add it up. So I'm going to come down here. Calcium is 40 point, somebody read it off for me, 40 point what? 07, thank you, grams, and we have one of those, and calcium, we have two of them at 35.45, and we're going to add that up to get the mass. Some of them I've got memorized, some of them I don't, and it's just because you're using them so much. Just like I bet you could tell me what oxygen is. See, it just comes with use. All right, what do we get here? Somewhere around 110 something. All right, grams in one mole, right? So grams per mole. So I come back up here to the mass, and I'm going to do my factor label. 
I'm going to say one mole on the top, calcium chloride, and I'm going to put 110.978 grams of calcium chloride on the bottom. Grams cancel out. So what did we get for the mass? About 0.3-ish something, 0 0.3 or something. Well, I'm just looking, this is about a third of that, right? What do we get? 3, 2, give me one more. 0. Okay, 1 mole of calcium chloride. Okay, what else do I need to do? Turn the milliliters to liters, good. So we're going to take this, and I know in one liter there's a thousand milliliters. Milliliters go out, 0 0.55, we'll take that as being a significant figure. Whoops, I wanted to put milliliters. Liters, so we'll take that as being there so we can have three sig figs. Okay, now what do I do? Now I can put it back up into this equation, right? So 0 0.321 moles divided by 0 0.550 liters will give me a molarity of calcium chloride. It's going to be under half, so somewhere around 0.4-ish. Somebody got an answer? 0.58? Do I have a second on that? Does it have a zero after it? A four? Okay. Are we getting this? Pretty easy, right? Oh, no. Okay, here we go for the next one. We Okay. I got part of that. All right. So let's do the next one. Calculate the number of moles. This one's a little bit different. We're looking for moles this time. So mole is my question mark. Here's my concentration. Molarity is 117.909 molar with a volume equals 0 0.356 liters. Okay, so thinking back again, molarity was equal to moles divided by liter, and I want moles by itself. So moles are going to equal molarity times liter. Does that make sense to everybody? Just rearranging, timesing both sides by liters. So then I just go through and plug in. So a mole is equal to 17.909 molar times by volume, 0 0.356 liters. So my mole is equal to, I should put mole of, it didn't tell me what. So how many moles do I have? 6.37, and that's moles. It didn't give me moles of what, so we'll just take that and go. Yes, sir, ma'am. You got what? I got, oh, yeah. got 6.375, so I can move you around. Ah. Okay, there you go. Okay, catch. If we all do it, then we all make sure we're doing it the right. How are we feeling? Pretty decent. Pretty decent? Okay. I'm peeking over your shoulder, you mean? Okay. All right, let's keep going. So next one. Calculate the number of moles. So we're doing another mole one. See what you can do. I'm going to let you run it and see if you get it.
Don't look up until you're done. Okay, has everybody had a chance to finish? Okay, what do we get for an answer? 12.13. Do I have a second on that? Awesome. Pretty easy, right? Let's go to the next one. So calculate the volume in liters. This one's new. So we're looking for volume in liters to make a molar solution of 9.909 molar with mass of 15.2 grams of NaCl. Okay, so looking at my original formula, molarity equals moles divided by liters. I want liters and it's on the bottom. So I have to times both sides by liters and divide both sides by molarity. In other words, these two are going to switch places, right? So I'm going to have liters are equal to moles divided by molarity. Well, I have molarity, but I don't have moles. So I've got to figure out moles. Back to what we did at first. Sodium, 22 point, what is it? Somebody grab it. It's on the left-hand side. 990, okay, and we have one of them. And chlorine, I've got memorized, 35.45. And if we did three, if we did another one, it would be three, but that's okay. Add them together should be 58 point something. 4, 4 grams per mole. Okay, so then I come back up to this and I say okay. I put this number on the bottom, 58.440 grams. I put one mole on the top. Sorry. And then we're going to cancel out grams of sodium chloride. And we're going to get what? Fifteen point two divided by fifty eight point four four. Zero point two six, one more. Zero moles of sodium chloride. Okay, do I have everything I need to plug in? Do I have moles? Do I have molarity? Okay, so then I just plug in. Moles was 0 0.26 moles, 0 moles. And I divide it by 9.909 .909 molarity. And my liter is going to be what? And this would actually be of distilled water, would be the liters, not of NaCl. So you got to be careful. 0 0.026, one more. It can't be the same thing, is it? Two. Okay, interesting. It just moved by a factor of 10, which is basically what's on the bottom. That makes sense. Okay. We're almost dividing it by 10, right? So that makes sense that it moved over one. All right. We okay? Ready to move on? Okay, the next one, you do. Same kind of thing, you do. See what you can get done. See if you can do it by yourself. We'll come back and check it. I'll give you a two-minute head start, so don't look up. I'll start writing. But again, I'll wait to put the final answer up till everybody's done. So try your best. Um, it is on the main... Three. Okay. Awesome. Huh. 
So this is so that you can access the videos at school with it and not use YouTube. Okay, is everyone done? Everybody had a chance to get done? I don't want to give the answer until we're all done. All had a chance to do it on our own. Who would like to volunteer the answer? Okay, Bailey. Okay, and that's how many liters of distilled water you need to put with that many grams. How do we do? Thumbs up, I got it. Thumbs down, I didn't. Thumbs sideways, I have no clue what's going on. That's a D distilled water, DH2O. Okay, we feeling feeling okay? Okay, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Let's see what we can do. Okay, now we're now we're asking what mass. So we're going a little bit different. So this time it wants to know the mass. What is the mass? of NaCl. So when it asks mass, it's asking grams. How much would I weigh out? Would be needed to make volume 100.0 milliliters of a molarity solution of 0 0.200 molar NaCl. Okay, so thinking back again, our equation, molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. What am I going to be solving for here? Well, mass isn't part of my equation. Right, I need to solve for moles. So this is going to be a mole one. So again, these two are going to switch places. So actually not switch places. Sorry, you're going to times both sides by liter. So mole is going to equal molarity times liters. And then once we get the mole, then we can figure out the, the grams. So there's another thing I need to worry about before I start plugging in. What is it? Right, I'm not in the right unit, so I need to change that milliliters to liters. So there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. 
milliliters cancel. That gives me a 0 0.1000 liter. Is that right? Okay, now I can plug in to find moles. So I'm going to do that. Mole is equal to molarity, 0 0.200 molar times 0 0.1000 liters. So my moles are 0 0.0200 moles of NaCl is what I need. So, at this point, I need something else. What do I need? I need grams. So, I need to add up the molar mass of it, right? So, I'm going to come over here. Sodium was 22.990. Somebody double check me. Okay. And chlorine, 35.45. It actually has a 3 on it if you go to five significance figures. I know we don't have it up here on the board, but that's what it is. Okay. And you're going to add those together, and we get 58.443, right, grams per mole, if I remember from when we added it up before. Okay. All right, now I've got this. Now I've got to set it up like we normally did with factor label, just going from grams to moles. 0 0.02, 0 0.0200 0 .0 moles of NaCl. On the bottom, we'll put one mole of NaCl. And on the top, we'll put that 58.443 grams of NaCl. So now we can cross out moles and moles, times it through, and we're going to end up with so many grams of NaCl. This is the most common way to do the molarity problem because you're usually trying to make up a solution in lab and you need a certain concentration and you need a certain amount but you don't know how much to weigh out. So this is the most common way to use the molarity equation. Okay? So how many, how many grams of sodium chloride do we need to weigh out? 1.169. So we have three significant figures so 1.17. Okay. All right, let's see what you can do with the next one. Flip the page over. So you can do with the next one. It's just like this one. See what you can do with this one. Yes. How do you start typing? Yeah, just like that. Yep. Oh, do I have to cut out the talking back and forth in teams, really? No. They're talking to each other on the computer in Teams, like texting back and forth. What kind of ammonia? I've got several different kinds. Just household, just like general. I don't know if I've got any household. Okay. Um, let me get these guys started. It'll be about another five minutes, and then, okay. All right, so do this next one. This is sort of a bogus problem because you can't get H2SO4 in solid form, but we're going to pretend. It's still the same process to figure it out if it was a different compound.
Okay, as soon as you get done, go ahead and look up and see if you've got the setup right. We'll come together and put an answer up there. How many sick figs should I report? Three is correct. Didn't show what decimal? The, I got 1.5, you mean? Yes. Because after it was 750.0, so those two zeros were significant. Okay. What do we get for an answer? 147. Do you have a second on that? Yes? Awesome. Okay. So that should take us to the practice, right? Calculate the following solutions. Are you doing your own practice on your own? Oh, you're still writing that down? Okay. All right. So you have some to do on your very own now. Um, I was going to have you rotate, but that would only be 15 minutes in a rotation. So I'm just going to wander around if you need help. I'm going to check with each one of you. Um, let me know. We can work on this assignment. We can work on last time's assignment. You can work on your lab from last time. If you weren't here last time, I can take you back in the back real quick, and you can do the lab real fast. Um, there's a couple things that we can do, okay? So please, 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 let's get everything in so we know what we're doing and we do well on this test coming up. You got it down? Let me go to the next page. And basically this tells you what needs to be done. It gets you your equation up again, and you're good to go.